Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Major Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Honey made made me do it. Right. So we got the weekend actuals, um, and some movies are coming in a little less than we reported yesterday. Hobbs and Shaw came up a million less, so it's a couple million less, so it's 179 million. What, Scott? I said good movie. Yeah, 179 million. Lion King is 1,199. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 78 million, almost 79 million, actually. Um, and then number four is Spider Man Far From Home, and that has 1,075 million. Wow, Spidey. That's pretty damn good. Uh, Toy Story 4, let's see what the actuals are. All right, it made a little more, 960. So we're basically less than 40 million away for it to get a billion, which I think is highly possible. Yesterday, still there, 118 million. Farewell is 6.8 million. I got to look that up. I really have, I, yeah, that popped out of nowhere. Yeah, I have no I'm not idea. sure what that is. I heard about it, but I'm not sure. 53 million for Crawl. Which, that must be good if it's still in the top 10, man. Yeah. I don't know. Aladdin, 1 billion, 26 million. Uh, Annabelle Comes Home is number 10. Another good that's movie. 215. Okay. And let's, get, and let's get the, oh, Men in Black International. There we go. It's back. 250. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Godzilla back in. Okay. Godzilla. 385. All right. Wow. Where did these movies come back from? That's weird. Uh, where the hell did... Oh, Avengers Endgame. Let's go. Avengers Endgame. Uh, 2,794,000,000. Nearing 2,795,000,000. So, again, it's going to be another million ahead. Yeah. It keeps happening, and it's still making money. So, But it has to be done soon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's going to be on Blu-ray and DVD, right? It's very soon. Mm-hmm. Charles plays about a week to two weeks at least. Yeah, it's it's a shame Charles play only made twenty nine million. Yeah, because that one's another good movie. I don't think we're gonna see any more. Uh, okay, here's Charles the thing play. for farewell is the farewell. Yeah, a Chinese family discovers their grandmother has only a short while left to live, and decide to keep her in the dark, scheduling a wedding to gather before she dies. Oh, to keep her active or something? Yeah. Like different things? Okay. I heard it's doing well. Uh, I mean, maybe in the farm markets, right? It's doing better? I don't know. It has to be. It's like that. Like, yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah. So, um, what did I want to say? We know the CW has the crisis. In the oh, my God. It's, what the hell happened? My voice there. <laughs> Jesus. The anti-monitor took over. Right. We we know that the crisis in the infinite earth is happening. We know that Arrow is ending. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of stuff that's coming out because people are upset that um, the actress that plays Felicity, you know, is not going to be back. And yeah. everybody's like, well, it's not really Arrow if she's not in it because it feels weird. Even Stephen Amell had came out and said, you know, if you look at it a certain way, it kind of ended. Yeah. Let the end of last season when and I saw that too. You know, where Monitor Wright took him, and then she joined afterwards, I guess, or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, it's gonna be weird, Arrow this season. Uh, it's gonna, not gonna feel. I'm, weird. I'm sort of wondering if that's a, a half the reason why. I mean, they're ending the I, no, I, I, no, 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 no. He leaves and the show's not. No, ready. no, no, no. He made. I know, I know, but that's what no, I know. The, the reason is he made an announcement to leave. He tried to get them where they could keep their jobs. They said no. They tried to get somebody else that could take over and just keep the show going. They said no, and then she decided after he, he announced that he's going to come back just for a handful of episodes. She made a surprise announcement. She's not coming back. And everybody was like, whoa, shit. Bum, bum, bum. Just totally screws up our plans. Because if you're gonna, you would think that she would stay to the end. Mm -hmm. But she decided not to. So now we kind of. Watch her, her come back. Watch her come back well, for the final episode. Maybe. Maybe. She is in a play right now. And 
Yeah, but still, like I said, a watcher come for right now. We're gonna like cross our fingers. We're gonna cross our fingers and say that she does, but we'll see. But that people are wondering, well, what's gonna happen once Arrow's gone, and when we have the next half of the year where you don't have Arrow? Like, obviously, the Flash is gonna be the main thing. Then. Yeah, and that's gonna be the Flash and Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow. Batman. A bad woman, but at some point in time, Legends of Tomorrow is probably going to end, uh-huh. and they're going to start. You're going to start seeing weird stuff soon, like replacement shows uh-huh. that's going to be put in place to replace Legends of Tomorrow. Because basically, Batwoman is kind of replacing Arrow, even uh-huh. though it's not going to be the stature of Arrow. She's taking the spot, so you're gonna you're gonna see them create another one or two series to replace. Or they're going to start, even though they say it's not connected, they may just start to decide um, Black Lightning's one of the well, seasons. another thing I wanted to talk about. They're bringing him in to, to that. I'm not yeah. crazy about the character. I'm not crazy about the whole thing with him. It's, and they sort of like left him out of everything. Now mm. they're going to bring him in this. But is the show really doing that well to continue with seasons? I don't watch it. Do you watch it? Uh-uh. They, I, I don't even, they don't even promote it like they promote everything else. It's like they don't really spend that much money on, promo- on marketing with them compared to like Arrow and everything else. So I don't even know. I don't even know if that show is even going to continue. I don't know if it's good. I haven't watched it. I saw some things and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't see Black Batwoman, uh, Batwoman lasting past maybe two seasons. Well, we, I, you know what? I, I don't like the trailer. That trailer sucks. No, I haven't either. It's all like oh, yeah. SJW Classic. shit. Mm-hmm. Which, oh, that's another thing I want to talk about is the Star Wars situation. Oh. Because I got to tell you, if this movie is going to be like Last Jedi, we, we, this thing is done. It's done. Forever. This is the third movie. Oh, wow. This is their, uh, their, this is their last of their three movies. You know what's going to happen? The Mandalorian's going to have to save the damn Star Wars line because yeah. they, they, but why even screw it up to begin with? That's the whole point. Because they got to cater to us. They have to cater to a certain side. So Fire everybody that has to do with social justice warriors mm-hmm. and, and, and make it, Listen, I'm not being a misogynist and I'm not being a dick, right? But you start doing this stupid shit with the social justice warriors and Women are God and women are the best. Shut, shut the hell up. Everybody's equal. Get them out of there. Because they're ruining the fucking frame. They are. Hey, I, you know what I would do? I would do a movie where, you know how they say a long time ago in a galaxy far away? Yeah. A lot of time has passed where, you know, the Jedi thing, the Sith things, all been talking about in whispers. But people have never seen it for like hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. I would start to have somebody introduced that, you know, starts to, doesn't even know what the Force is, you know, could potentially be a Jedi, you know, and you have like the Empire around still too. Mm-hmm. I, would, I hate that First Order shit, first of all. So that, that stuff, I wipe that shit clean. Uh, empires around in some capacity, you know, in this area. Maybe it's a different area of space, right? Maybe it's top where they had no Jedi and or whatever. It's but, a Magnificent Seven type of setup, even. Well, no, I would do this, this one person that, you know, is like all this weird stuff happens. Like he's just, like he almost gets killed by, say, the Empire. And again, I would have it far away where yeah. maybe they were sent out, like, like Chris was saying, Pops they, of other they areas. escaped during other the whole area. Right, so they don't the know order. what the fuck's happening. When the you. order was sent right. out, they went out. And, all and they're still the Empire there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they don't know what the fuck's happening here. So I would have it where this person is getting hunted, whatever, and then all of a sudden, by weird things happening, like he'll have the force, not know what the yeah. fuck is happening. And then, they, you know, maybe over there they never really had Jedi. Who knows? Like, But it would be like a thing to restart everything. Yeah. Like Jedi, Sith. And they don't really call them Jedi. How about this? They don't really call them Jedi. They don't know what it is. Yeah. They don't know what it is. 
but there's an evil thing too. I like just just someone who doesn't even know what Star Wars is to just come in and understand it without having to be taught. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you could always later movies connect it to what happened hundreds of years ago. You know, but still it's far a galaxy far away. Still it's some time ago. You know, mm -hmm. some time ago galaxy far away. But still it's hundreds of years after, let's say Ray. You know, and because like. And, and again, if you're going to have a resistance, if you're going to have this, men and women are equal. Don't do uh -huh. this shit that all the women, women party, because I got to tell you, Leia and this one, Laura Dern and, and, and Rose and all this, and men are stupid and Finn's stupid and, and Poe Dameron's stupid, smack him in the face, knock him out. Men are stupid. I hate uh -huh. that. I fucking hate that with a passion. Okay. Tell us the show. Shut the fuck up, all right? Fire everyone that is connected with this SJW fucking thing this that's destroying every franchise there is. It's a goddamn mm -hmm. fucking zombie virus almost. And everybody is just fucking... I'm telling you right now, right? This shit is fucking up comics even. You could... Tomorrow you could yeah. wake up, DC Comics could be gone. Okay, that's another thing that's going on. AT and T fucking is trying to have it where that that they own Warner Brothers, they own Warner now, they own DC now. AT and T, they don't want comics anymore. They're like fuck Superman and fuck Batman. We don't want to do comics anymore. So now people are like, oh shit, the second biggest comic book company may fucking end in a week. It's like wow. Do you imagine? Do you imagine? Think about this for a second. You are basically signing the death warrant to the fucking economy because every uh -huh. single fucking comic shop will be fucking put out of business. If you Definitely. take out the second major fucking comic book company, you go in a comic shop, right? It's DC, it's Marvel with these little companies in the middle. You yeah. take out one fucking thing like that, you will fucking wreck. You will wreck. Thousands of comic book stores. You will make it that comic books will become extinct because you yes. cannot have Marvel without DC. You take no. DC out of the picture, you are going to fuck these comic book companies. And then what's going to happen is Marvel's going to be even fucking more crazy when they're going to put out fucking quadruple the amount of books. Yep. Like, so it's you know, so it's, you the Pelican books? Powers. it's like, you think it's asinine now? Oh, it's gonna be Imagine worse. Coming in daily to find Holy out. Holy shit. You have no DC, you're gonna have Marvel popping out fucking books. The amount of books daily. that DC are daily. going, you're gonna have Marvel put 40 extra fucking books out a month. It's gonna be fucking insane. Yes. And, and, and they're gonna, gonna, ra and they're gonna race the, and you watch. The, the current price of Marvel now. Six ninety nine, you're, you're done. Even more. You pay seven dollars for a comic, you're done. You're done. One comic, yeah. that's it. You're done. As it is now, they're raising this. Sh it's basically six dollars all the time now. Which it's like they, they keep raising the price. Like okay, you do a nice cover for a fucking book now. You raise it a dollar. Now it's fucking Fantastic Four book was what six? What was it? Like five bucks? Get out of here! I'm telling you, this is you. Don't do it because you're going to – and I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to fuck up the economy because it's like a domino effect. You yep. think if, people, if you don't collect comics, that's fine. But if you have thousands upon thousands of fucking retail stores that are comic books, you're, if you put them out of business, all those people are going to be out of work. You're going to fuck up the economy. The unemployment rate is going to go up. That's like saying we're not going to sell pizza anymore. You're going to fucking wreck the whole system. You're going to wreck it. Like at t shut the fuck up. And eat. look, I may not like DC Comics. Like, I like the characters, but I'm not right. Yeah. I'm a Marvel guy, right? But even I know you need to have that there in order for them to run smoothly. You have to have an even competition, yeah. You need, you need to have, like, you're talking a whole wall that will be gone. Like, what are you going to put in this place? Nothing. So you can't do that. So... I know in order for me to get my Marvel comics, you need DC to be there too, to help out, you know, or the whole ecosystem for comic books. But AT&T, they're going to fuck that. They're going to fuck this shit up. And this is why I told you DC Universe streaming services out the window. They don't want it. They, that's going to be gone. They're going to be integrated into Warner Media. And then, like they said, in the Comic-Con, the comic 
DC used to always have this major fucking part of that. They had this little shit in the back. It, the times are changing, man. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, speaking of comics. Speaking of comics. Uh, Coffin Comics, they have released. Everything's uh, worked out. There will be the Kickstarter for Blasphemy, which starts either Wednesday or Friday. I forget which. Right. But I'll send Joe the link so that yeah. way he can include it into all this. But yeah, yes. Blasphemy. In case you didn't know, if you're really coming aboard. Yeah. Yeah. People don't know that this is their video for the first time. Scott is talking yeah. about a, a comic book company that puts out the character Lady Death. And I call, uh, they used to have their own comic company and then chaos it used to be with chaos comics but right. now, that now, is now it's like puts out. needs kickstarters yeah it's kickstarters bring stuff back basically because they're not so. they're not publishing every single week they're publishing no no it's just one of these special things they put out right and i, I look through the uh, little page and boy it, there's a lot of awesome things they've got patches this time right they've got like hardback covers and yeah. all this other stuff and oh, I'll make Please. certain. This thing is gonna run me a pretty penny. This uh, oh. absolute carnage. The amount of money that this this it, it for months. I'm talking. It's it's you're talking months worth. Like this day, this event is, you know. And now I didn't realize this, Scott, but they got a, even another crossover that was not even promoted, right? I don't know if you remember back in the day, there was an there was an ad, there was an annual event, a themed event called Acts of Vengeance. Where, vaguely, vaguely. Where they I had vaguely. all these villains got together in a room, and they had portals to all their things. They would come in this meeting room, and they're going to say, "All right, you know what? This is how we're going to beat the heroes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just jump and attack a hero that never faced us, but they're going to study the hero." to know how to beat the hero. So they would jump and they would, they would switch partners, you know, and they would attack someone they've never attacked before. And they knocked the fucking superheroes off their ass because they were not prepared for this. I mean, you're talking like literally them actually planning this out and, and they lost their footing for a little bit, but then they gained it back. But so now yeah. they're doing a sequel all these years later called Acts of Evil, which is basically Acts of Vengeance 2. Yeah. And they're switching partners. Now, I thought that this was only a couple of annuals, like two or three. No, this shit's continuing month into month into month. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that this was going to be a big deal because they didn't promote it at all. Yeah. They probably wanted it to be a surprise. So I, I mean, that's a surprise. That's all right. Because like, the, I, you know, this is going to be continuing for months. And it's like they got ghost spiders involved in it. Moon Knight is facing Kang the Conqueror. Holy Damn. shit. Holy shit. Wolverine is fighting Morgan Le Fay. Punisher is fighting uh What the fuck is Punisher fighting? Oh no, that's a different thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like I'm like, what the hell is that? Who else? Let's see, Acts of Evil. Uh, Ghost, Ghost Spider is fighting Arcade's Murder Worlds. Okay. Oh, then that should be interesting. Which That's is not really a stretch because Arcade was involved with Spider-Man recently. And involved with X-Men too, so. So it's not like, I mean, you know, but I guess it's for her the first one. Yeah. You know, so there's this. Because what Arcade stuff. does is he takes basically arcade game as type of things. He creates these, this game, Murder World. Where he, yeah, Murder World, which uses pretty much used... Uh, he was a big part of the uh, Hunted storyline. Yeah. For even hard. Uh, and it was great, actually. So, it's Like I said in the past, of all the people that could get to play arcade, I still think David Tennant would have been best for that because he looks enough like arcade. Yeah, he could be arcade, yes. I think so. I definitely agree with you. Uh, what else do I want to say? We got the multiverse, so... Yeah. On top of absolute carnage, you got weird stuff going on with Ghost Rider taking over Hell and throw, overthrowing the Mephisto, I believe. That's yeah. weird. That, that might be the December thing. Mephisto just wrecking yeah, havoc on people, I guess. I don't know. But absolute carnage, man. That's going to be the big thing. All right. We're getting out of here. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.